Hi, Emily and Brianna. This is Mr. Cox. I know it's Good Friday. I know we've missed almost two weeks, and I'm so sorry. It's been so busy. But Happy Easter. We will see you on Sunday. But I wanted to make sure that we get at least some of this video in so you guys can practice during Easter break and then in a few days before we come and see you again on Wednesday. So I have Mr. Lammy here because, of course, it's Easter and it's about a lamb. And so I figured it would be important to have us put a lamb in the video. So, Brianna, we're going to start off with your verses. Just play this video back and forth and play it over and over again and we'll get it. Okay? So A is for according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15.3 Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. This is perfect for Easter, isn't it? R is for raised, 1 Corinthians 15, 4. That he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Now we're going to try a couple more because these are all review and hopefully you might remember them somewhere in here. K is for keep, James 2, 10. For whoever keeps the whole law, and yet stumbles at just one point, is guilty of breaking all of it. An S is for saved, Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Now, the last verse, I know there's five, right? right is John 3, 16, which is your main flight verse, which we've been going over. So hopefully you'll remember this one. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16. So those are your verses. Just play this over and practice them and practice them. Emily, my question for you is, why did God give us the Bible? God gave us the Bible so we can know how to live. And your verse is Psalm 86.11. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart so that I may fear your name, that I may fear your name. So teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in the truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. So walk means how you live your life. It doesn't necessarily mean walking. And fear doesn't mean, ooh, I'm scared. It means respect. So it's respecting God. And then your other thing I want you to remember is the song that we sang to learn your New Testament books. Do you remember it? I don't know if you do, but we'll do it now. Ready? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts in the letter to the Romans, First and Second Corinthians, Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, First and Second Thessalonians, First and Second Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, first and second Peter, first and second, third John, Jude and Revelation. Now, pull out your Bible. You can always go through the table of contents for the New Testament, and those books are in order, and that's what you'll be singing. But practice that, and that will help you with your next set. Okay, Emily and Brianna, I will see you on Sunday. I believe Mrs. Cox is coming and picking you guys up so we can have Easter lunch dinner together. Okay? And then you guys will get to see Matthew and Adara in their Easter play at church. Okay? And then you will see me as the mad radiologist downstairs. Okay? Thanks, guys. Happy Easter. I will see you Sunday. Bye.